is low yields opportunistic? And I don't mean just for your area of EM and the greater world, but as a general statement to our viewers and listeners this morning, does low yields create an opportunity or is it a hindrance now into 2020? So, well, we had such an amazing year for fixed income last year. Bond yields fell almost 100 basis points. Just looking at the 10-year, we had 9% return in some fixed income indices. Very unusual. So when we came into this year, we were really thinking, you know, fixed income returns are basically just going to be in line with the coupon. But I think what you learn during these moments of risk aversion is bond yields can fall further they can actually still provide that buffer. So it is still worth having things like treasuries for these moments of protection, even if, if things stabilize or return is not going to be that interesting. Um, do you worry, uh, Gabriella, that the, the virus will actually have a huge impact on markets and therefore have a huge impact on you know, c consumer and it could tip the world economy lower? So it's still in the early stages of figuring out uh, the actual economic and market impact, but you know the market impact does tend to be short-lived. It peaks when the it bottoms when the cases peak, and then we recover. We go back to the previous trend, and that's largely because the economic impact is really temporary. We end up getting this V-shaped kind of pace. So maybe the pattern of growth changes. Maybe it's a little bit lower than we expected first, second quarter, and then stronger maybe third fourth quarter, the end point is the same. So for our long-term investors in asset management, the way we're thinking about it is actually perhaps it's a buying opportunity, especially when we think about emerging Asia.